let us now do pds1 click on it here's the pds1 challenge it has nine steps and it will take around 45 minutes in step one it is asking us to click on the magnifying glass in step two also it is telling us the same thing click on the magnifying glass and then in the box that pops up you have to enter your user id so click on the magnifying glass give here z04085 this is my user id you have to enter your own user id so you can see these are the data sets which are allocated to me then in step 3 we have to go to input jcl output and source data set and mark them as favorite so this is input click on the star here then we have to go to output then we have to go to source and jcl click on it and then all these data sets will appear in the favorites tab so you can see four data sets are now appearing in the favorites tab i can remove it from here by clicking on remove favorite and i can again put it here by clicking on the star icon then in step 4 we have to do just like step 2 here we have to set the qualifier to zxp public star let's give here zxp dot public dot star so here are all the data sets starting with zxp public here we have to mark public input as favorite so here is public input mark it as favorite then in step 5 we have to see the attributes of public dot input here is public dot input right click and show data set attributes and you can see it is on volume vpw rkd so this step is also telling that the volume is vpw rkd then we have to click on the member pds part 1 and paste it into source data set so here is pds part 1 right click copy member here is my source data set right click and paste member keep the name same pds part 1 press enter and you can see pds part 1 is now here same way we have to do pds part 2 here is pds part 2 right click copy member and then paste it into source data set then go to public jcl and then pds1 cat is there copy it into jcl so here is public jcl here is pds1 cat right click and copy member paste it into our own jcl this is the jcl right click and paste member so here is pds1 cat then in step 7 we have to run pds cat from our own jcl here is pds cat right click and submit job job submitted 9593 close and expand here is 9593 cc0 condition code is 0 means successful execution now we have to go to our source data set and close and expand so this is source close and expand and a new member called pds1 out is there this is pds1 out this is a new member created by that jcl that we just ran now we have to right click on pds1 out and give it name recipe r-e-c-i-p-e -E. so right click rename member recipe here is recipe then just go to public jcl and then submit check pds1 where is public jcl check pds1 this is check a pds1 we'll just right click and submit job you are submitted 9595 
9595 condition code 0. So let's go to our website, go down and click on challenge complete. What does HLQ stand for? High level qualifier. Submit. Click on continue. Challenge completed. You have completed this challenge, VDS1. That's it. Let's now refresh this page. Challenge is unlocked. Show them now. And you can see PDS2 is now available. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.